Hi guys, this is Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA. It's about uh, 1.45 p.m. Central Standard Time on a Wednesday afternoon, October the 4th. And I got news today that my RV is coming in next week. Apparently it should be here by Wednesday, and that's good to know. So, thumbs up to that news. Finally, we're going to get an RV. It was just built yesterday, believe it or not, so it is brand new. And uh, it'll be on the road for a few days, and then it'll be here, according to the people in Georgetown, Texas. But anyway, what you're seeing there on the bed, no, a bomb did not go off inside of here, and I'm not going crazy. Well, I am already crazy. I don't have to go anywhere. But what I want to show you is, when I get ready to downsize and clean out crap, I do it okay you see all those hangers on the bed it's probably 20 there and uh, this over here this thing here used to be full okay and i left a few things in there that i'll let jason my son have if he wants them and i'm not through yet there's some still stuff up there that has to be cleaned out and then over here you can see i've got pants shirts uh all kind of stuff that'll go to goodwill or whoever and all of that stuff so anyway we are definitely downsizing okay and a lot of these little see there that closet was slammed and all i'm going to have i got two pair of khaki pants and three shirts and that's it okay and uh, then of course i'll have t-shirts underwear and other stuff somewhere else and you see those books over there adios amigos and i will leave that sign there if my son wants it because it won't be transferred to the new RV. But what I wanted to get, the point I'm getting across here is, folks, you just don't realize, or at least I did. I do know. I mean, I, I buy shit, and then I never use it. There's clothes in there, there's clothes in that stack that I have not put on my body in two years. You hear me? Two years. And that, and that stack of clothes right there, I weighed myself on those scales right down there. <clears throat> And then I picked up all that bundle of clothes and weighed again. That's 60 pounds worth of clothes. 60 pounds that will not make it to my new RV. And that's just the beginning. Okay, let me show you something else. Let me turn on some more lights. I mean, I, I, I'm telling you, man, I'm a pack rat. Look at that dining room table. <laughs> you think it's going to be like that in the new RV? No, it ain't. It is not. We are clean. And you see this bathroom back here? Well, you can't see it yet. Anyway, with all that crap on it? No. This? Crammed. All crammed. Bye-bye stuff. A lot of that's going. Probably 80% of that are going. Look up here. This is the top bunk bed. Let me turn the light on. It's got two bunk beds in the back. <laughs> you, can't, you couldn't sleep up there if they paid you. I mean, there's my Dometic deal, my popcorn popper, my clothes deal, my printer. Now, of course, you know, this stuff will be transferred, some of it, but it will certainly be a little better organized. And my solar's down there. And, uh, you know, there's a bunch of pillows back there that haven't been used in ages. And then down in the bottom bunk here is a bunch of jackets and clothes and stuff. And my uh, trifold mattress and stuff. Of course, I, I'm not going to throw that away. I will keep that trifold mattress because I may want to go camping in my pickup. Who knows? Or I might want to use it for something else. But anyway, see, all this is stuff that I've accumulated. I live in a 2016, or scratch that, 2013 Jayco J Flight 26 foot bunkhouse model RV. And so, folks, you guys that live in homes don't think you're the only ones that just stack up crap. Okay? That's amazing. All this stuff on the walls. Oh, look here. Let me show you something. You see all that stuff? Well, you can't see it. No, you can. Uh, that stuff I've accumulated. Now, some of that stuff I'll keep. See, like this was carved in like 1955 in Kennedy, Texas. There was a, some crop dusters that used to spray our flax crops. And uh, one of them whittled that out of a piece of mesquite. And I've hung on to it all these years. And this is a sign one of the viewers sent me. It says, shit burner. Uh, that's an old scraping tool from the Indians. My, one of my, my oldest sister sent me this. My younger sister sent me this. And I'll probably keep those two, you know, a few things. But other than that, but all up here. You know, it's not all. There's all along here. All along there. Even my hat somebody gave me 10 years ago. And what? And, and the, up in here, uh, this isn't too bad. Well, yeah, it is too. Got popcorn and chips and stuff. 
and then the wall of course which I hate to do away with but I am nothing is going to be cluttering my new RV nothing personal guys believe me I do appreciate all those nice signs but they will be put in storage I will not throw them away they will be put in storage and every now and then when I'm here at my home base I will open all this stuff up and go down memory lane maybe but anyway I got stuff I've already cleaned this off see how that looks it's already, that's already there was stuff on this wall here see how nice it is now how peaceful and stuff and another thing I may do I may do some painting in my new RV and give it a little life once I get it and take a look at it but uh, yeah and th these hangers I wish I could find a place for them in my new RV because they're worth their weight in gold to hang stuff on but uh, anyway that's the stuff I'm keeping I got two pair of shorts two shirts too long those uh, fishing shirts and then I've got some jogging pants and a little uh, warm weather or cold weather jacket thing but anyway uh, and here I, let me show you some more that, that ain't all man it's unbelievable they, they came out of here look at here on the on the patio of course some of this stuff is uh, now this thing this storage box it's not full but it's 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 accumulating stuff and what's what's difficult about this is i'm sure most of y'all realize there's some stuff is kind of in between you know you don't know if you want to get rid of it or you want to keep it so you know that's where i'm at now i've got a bunch of stuff here so i'm organizing my stuff i got all my tapes and stuff there and some string and stuff that's all in one place and then up here i've got a, some tools and stuff that i'm going to organize i'm going to go through them and get them organized i got a whole thing that's something you need to have in an rv too that's a whole box of different fuses it goes from five to thirty uh amp fuses and uh yeah they're they're come in handy because you never know when you're going to pop one have i ever popped one yeah but not often it doesn't happen often but anyway and then over here of course is my uh new drain hose for the new rv and a garden hose and some other stuff and then i got a new drain hose and garden hose and stuff for my son because when he takes this he'll be able to just go RVing so anyway guys uh, uh, for those of you that live in a large RV or a large home and you're going to downsize folks I don't envy you because you're going to have to go through memory down memory lane and a lot of those old memories are going to have to go 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 okay but so we're getting there guys and we're getting ready because apparently next Wednesday is D-Day for our delivery day ETA new travel trailer and uh, isn't that a lovely bedroom I just I have just overdone myself there haven't I but anyway this is home and it's been home for three and a half four years approximately and uh, the new one will be home probably until I ain't here anymore because uh, we'll see but anyway from Central Texas USA and again thank all you guys that sent this stuff I'm not taking it down today I'll be taking it I'm just getting started because you know job never gets finished unless you get started so anyway I've just kind of gotten started so to speak but uh yeah, it's amazing. You don't want to leave it all to the last minute. But I've got actually I've got a little list that kind of keeps me on track getting stuff done. But from Central Texas, USA, who, listen to this point. From Central Texas, USA, with a new RV on the way, this is Rusty78609 saying, Puff the Magic Dragon is coming, babe. Coming home. I, coming down the trail. Was just built yesterday. Isn't that amazing? It, it, you know i was i thought it was built and sitting out in the snow or whatever they have up there and, and it ain't you know it, and so you know that 2017 that's on the lot in oklahoma has been sitting out there in the sun rain and hail for at least six months it's a year older unit and i'm waiting i've waited patiently and i think i'm going to be rewarded even though it's a very basic unit and but it does have as much well it doesn't have as much storage but it's got plenty for me because when i get through with this thing uh, I'll be able to put basically everything under one arm and walk over and put it in there. But I still got to get rid of some dick. Look, even my oven, you know, even my my stove here, I mean, on top. Look at that. This this belonged to my grandparents. Okay, this, this used to be on top of an old cookie jar. Okay, and this thing, these old cast iron things back here, those belong to my grandparents. Okay, and I've got some that belong to my great grandparents out there in that storage box, cast iron. But I'll keep those because they come in handy. And uh, and this little thing right here, that I just got this. This is a saucer. I mean, for making sauces. Do I make sauces? No. What I'm going to use it for is heating my breakfast since I don't have, I won't have a, I won't have one of these. I won't have a microwave. I, mean, I could get one because it's got a plug. All, all my new RVs coming. Th this spot will just be empty. Okay. 
and then there's a, it's actually got the outlets there ready to plug in the microwave but I'm going to try to do without a microwave and a TV but we'll see how that works but anyway guys from Central Texas USA again with a new travel trailer on the way hoo ha hoo thumbs up carpe diem adios bye bye buy USA Kim when you can drink plenty of water three or four quarts a day Take deep breaths, stretch, walk, you know the drill, keep your health or you're not going to be doing anything. So anyway, I'm getting things done, guys. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye from Central Texas. Adios. Bye-bye.